There's so many things that war does that we see, but there are so many invisible wounds of war. When you fled your home because of armed conflict, picking whatever little you had, just being in transit, living in limbo, and not knowing where your life is going to take you next. When we think about playing, uh, and we associate that with children, you know, people think that they're playing, expending energy, but play in the blue dot centers are used as a tool to be able to create a sense of normalcy for children. And when they have a sense of normalcy, that evokes a sense of safety. And that comes from doing the simplest things like drawing, like playing darts, or, you know, creating these beautiful, beautiful dolls, but actually being able to do something with your hands. It's such an amazing tool that I see them use to, to have these children feel protected and safe. Children and their moms um, can come to a UNICEF-supported education and development hub and use benefits of therapists, um, be able to have people who come in and give them classes um, in Polish, in English, in Ukrainian. And to see so many women carry the burden of not just fleeing war, but being strong, taking care of their children, finding new opportunities, finding, um, you know, resources, uh, going out there, getting jobs while taking care of little children that they've traveled with. I met a bunch of adolescent kids who talked to me about their hopes, their dreams. They talked about wanting to pursue studies. They want to be dancers, they want to be graphic designers, and they need to be given an opportunity to have a sense of the future. I hope you do love doing everything you want to do. Thank you. These are truly brave, inspiring people. I won't just say the kids, but the people that help these children find their feet. We're inspiring. Family. Family.